As we promised you, we have the author of Am I Not a Man? The Dred Scott Story, Mark Shirtleff, and he is also the Utah Attorney General. He's going to be speaking uh, to us, and also in the studio with us is Mike Webb. He is the publisher of Am I Not a Man? And it's Sortis Publishing. And Mark, give us a little bit of background why this story drew your attention to this degree. Well, thank you, Tanya. You know, I, first of all, I was drawn to Mike because uh, of the high tech. Uh, application he puts to uh, publishing. Uh, I think just this talking to you today through this video phone in my home, I think, is one of those examples, and we're very excited about spreading this message on a national stage. See, the, uh, well, probably about eight years ago, Tanya, I was attorney general. I've had a great love of history, uh, particularly of famous cases, and uh, it just, I remembered the Dred Scott case from law school, uh, where we mostly learned about uh, what its significance was as far as the power of the Supreme Court vis-a-vis -vis the Congress. Mm -hmm. And yet it just struck me, it struck me hard one day, well, but who was the man Dred Scott? Oh. Why don't we know anything about this man? And it, it struck me so hard I decided to, uh, to travel the country for the next several years and study and, and get everything I could about him and, and found an amazing story of courage and perseverance. Yeah, Mark, I would, um, I would dare to say that most people probably haven't heard this story. Um, why is it important for America to know this story? Well, it's important, I think, because of, particularly today, you know, we, we find ourselves in a position where nationally things are really pulling apart. We're really not pulling together. I think there was a show of that on the State of the State address to try and sit together, but it's going to take so much more than that. There's so many allegations of racism and, and uh, the fighting that's going on. I think it's a time when our country needs to pull together. And this story is really about uh, not just a man who was a slave, who wanted to be free and wouldn't stop fighting for that, but he had to have the support of a white family to get him through it. Mm. And this white family that he grew up with that later uh, was able to help him out through 12 years of court against some of the strongest anti-slavery uh, families, or pro-slavery families in the country, kind of shows how important it is to pull together in these difficult times. You know, Mark, uh, we're speaking, of course, uh, mid-1800s, which was the 19th century. And unfortunately, can you say we have evolved much past what was going on there? I think the complexion has only changed somewhat. I think you're right. You know, we have obviously come a long way because we ended slavery, and then it took another 100 years and the civil rights movement to get some freedoms. But, but today we're still divided by, by race, by class distinction, socioeconomic status. We've got all this conflict over... The, 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 uh, over immigration, where we see a lot of still racism and intolerance coming out. Uh, you know, what's extraordinary is this is the 150th anniversary of the swearing in of Abraham Lincoln, and we know that Abraham Lincoln was elected president because of the Dred Scott case, and yet we don't know much about the man who, uh, who fought for his freedom for his family and the people that helped him. Uh, there is a great example that uh, propelled Lincoln to the presidency and tells us today that we still can't pull together in this country. And Mike, what, what issues, can you just share a couple of issues that Dred Scott faced that maybe we aren't facing today? Well, uh, obviously the fact that he could not uh, take care of his family, the fear that he couldn't provide for them. Now, we don't have slavery today. Uh, well, we do in some places of the world, clearly, but most people don't face that. But we all know the struggle and hardship of not uh, wondering where we're going to be able to fit, feed our kids, those people who are out of work those people who feel at a, a disadvantage in the courts or uh, financially because they can't take care of things. I mean, this, this is an example of where we do have to pull together. You know, what's interesting right now, there's all this talk from members of my own party, sadly, about repealing or changing the 14th Amendment, mm. uh, dealing with uh, in this country. But it was Abraham Lincoln and it was the Republicans who passed that law to overturn Dred Scott. And we just can't go back to that same period of time when people were treated so differently uh, and, and we ought to stay with the, the rules about who are citizens of this country and the benefits of living here. You know, Mark, I think the most devastating part among many things in the book and the story is that he was freed once and then returned to slavery. Extraordinary. It was almost, almost too cruel because he, uh, he did fight for his freedom in the courts. Uh, ultimately, the law in Missouri at the time was once free, always free. So uh, a, a jury that was actually made up of slave owners uh, had to rule him free, and yet because of the times and heading toward the Civil War, the Supreme Court in Missouri was changed and to a pro-slavery. They actually ran on pro-slavery platforms, and when they became judges, they overturned the case and, yes, ripped him back into slavery uh, after having tasted what it was to be a man, to be free, 
now have to worry about his children and his wife being ripped away from him. So I think everybody can relate to that. Am I not a man? I mean, put, put yourself in a position uh, as a man or a parent to not have the control or ability to protect you, what you would do for that and how hard you were fighting. That's the kind of courageous hero that Dred Scott is that we want the world to know about. Uh, Mike? Yes. Um, words to Mark? Well, uh, Mark, I appreciate the story. I think it is one that, uh, that uh, the country needs to uh, get more familiar with, and I'm honored to be the publisher to be able to put that out. It is available um, online um, directly at our website, sortispublishing.com, and um, we hope to get the message out to many. Mark, thank you so much for speaking to us today. Indeed. You bet, neighbors. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, sir.